Hey guys, welcome to Quick Fix Guitar. My name is Aaron. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. Appreciate the support. However, if you are new here, let me tell you all about what I do here at Quick Fix Guitar. So here on the channel, I upload three guitar lessons per week on songs from a variety of genres, but with a main focus around hard rock, rock, punk, and metal. Then the following day, I release a cover of the song so you can see all of the parts played in their entirety. And I also do review the odd piece of gear from time to time, guitars, pedals, amps, you name it, I love chatting about it. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hitting the bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. Also, if you enjoy the lesson at any stage, feel free to give the video a like, that really helps out with the channel. That being said, let's jump into the lesson. All right, lesson time, Silly Things by The Sex Pistols. So I'm pretty sure this song was recorded for The Great Rock and Roll Swindle, which is the album that was released after the Nevermind the Bollocks album. It was just as The Pistols were breaking up. But for this song, I'm pretty sure it's Steve Jones singing on it. But if you know it otherwise, comment down below. But I'm fairly certain it's Steve Jones singing on it. And this one is actually in E-flat standard. So that's where every string is tuned down half a step. I'll have a graphic pop up here to show you what that looks like. 99% of the Sex Pistols songs are in standard. But this one is in E-flat. And it sounds like, to my ear anyway, that it's not quite E-flat standard. And it's not quite E-standard. It sort of sits somewhere in between... Sort of similar to how a lot of ACDC records, the early ones anyway, they sort of fluctuate. So it sounds like it's not quite E-flat, but it's somewhere in the realms of that. So if you tune to E-flat, you should be allowed to play along with the Rock and Roll right, rock and roll Swindles version. I know there's lots of different versions floating around on YouTube and things like that, but the one I play along to, E-flat standard. We're also on the bridge pickup, and the intro riff is, it starts on this D power chord. So I play it. Index finger on the 5th fret of the A string, pinky finger on the 7th fret of the 7th seventh, 7th uh, seventh fret of the uh, D string there, and we hit it 5 times with down strums. Then we reach up with our index finger, and we grab the 4th fret, and we do this extended chord here, so... Same thing, same 5 again. Slide down to the 2nd fret for a B power chord, same strumming pattern again. And then finally an A power chord. So that's A string open and then barring at the D and the G on the second fret with your index finger and muting that low E with your thumb. So it's the exact same pattern, those five strums there. So. Does that once, goes through it again. But this time it just hangs around on the A and you can do some reaching up and touching on the fourth fret of the D string. Do a bit of palm muting as well, putting your palm down the bridge, or you can just play it open. Just hangs out in that A for a bit, and then we are into the verse. So the verse is just the intro riff, but played slightly differently. So coming off that A. So you're just chugging away on that D power chord there. And then quickly slide to the fourth there for a C sharp power chord, to the B. Same thing again, slide back, quick C sharp, and then D. Now you can just play that all just a straight strum, or you can put, I like to put little inflections on it and just open it up a little bit, it gives it a bit more character, so. Just like that, but you can play it straight if you want, that's fine as well. So eventually we come up, we go through that a few times, we come up to the B, and then we come up to a G power chord here, so that's third fret on the low E, and ring finger on the fifth fret of the A string. So I play it with these two fingers because I'm gonna slide into an A and do one of these little extended boogie woogie blues chords here. So coming off the B here. Now you can play this bit all down strummed or you can strum your way through it like that, which is the way I prefer to do it, a bit more relaxed, so. So you're strumming your way through that G power chord, you slide down to the fifth fret on the low E, do an A power chord, and you're just reaching up 
and touching on the ninth fret of the A string there. So you do that twice, then the third time you go back to that G, slide it up to an F sharp, then slide it back down to a G, then slide it finally down to the fifth fret again to that A, and you hang around on that A chord there. Just doing lots of that touching with the boogie woogie chord there. Or alternatively, you can go. And play that same one from the intro. Either one is fine, it's up to you. And then you go back into the verse. Sorry, the chorus. Which is just the intro riff, but played slightly different again. So we're on that D chord there. So you hit it three times. Then reach up and do that same extended chord from before. Twice on that, then to the B. Five more times and then you, there's a little pause and then he plays it again. Lift your finger up. And then three more on the B. Two on the A and then back to the D. So I'll play that all slowly. So you get the strumming pattern down there, it goes along with the vocals. So the D, then that extended chord there with the C sharp, B, A, back to the D. So that's the chorus riff there, okay? And then it'll go back into the verse, play through that a few times, and then we get to this little bridge section. So the bridge is just a B, G, A, F sharp. And then back to the B, G, back to the A, and we do this boogie woogie chord again. And it hangs out on that for a bit. So that bridge section. Then it goes back into the intro riff. So after that bridge section, it goes back to that intro riff that we learned earlier. And it does that twice. And then when it gets back to the A, it holds on that A. And we go to the solo. So underneath the solo, I'll show you what the rhythm is doing first. So it's just doing that G. So that's what's going underneath the solo. And the solo is just matching that root note of the chord. So it starts on that G here. And we're just doing these classic Steve Jones double stops and bends that he stole from Chuck Berry, I think. So index finger barring on the B and the high E on the third fret there. So you're hitting those twice. And then you're reaching up and you're bending up that fifth fret on the G string there. So and you do that twice. So you hit those two high strings twice, bend, twice, bend, back to the double stop, bend, then back to the double stop one more time. Then you just slide that down to the fifth fret on the B and the high E, and you're reaching up and doing the seventh on the G there, and you repeat that same pattern. Back to the third, back to the fifth, back to the third again, then you go to the second, back to the third, then back to finally the fifth. And he just hangs around on that, and then right before he gets back into the chorus, he just plays some double stops here. 
But feel free to experiment and do whatever you there, whatever you want there. So that pattern, it just follows the root chord. So when it's at the G, it's sitting under the G. When it's at the A, it's sitting under the A. When it's sitting at the F sharp, it's sitting under that F sharp there. So that pattern, just one more time, twice on the double stop, then bend, and then back. And it's all happening very quickly, but if you follow along with the, you know, know the chords and you follow along with the root chords, that's a relatively easy solo. Then it goes back to the chorus, and then eventually it finishes on that intro riff that we learned at the start. And then it finishes on that D chord and just drums through it a couple of times. But they are all the parts that you need to learn how to play silly things. So we've got the intro riff, we've got the verse riff, the chorus riff, we've got the bridge there, we've got the chords that go under the solo and the solo itself. But it's a really, really fun song. Um, just as good as anything off Nevermind the Bollocks in my opinion. And it's lots of fun to play with. And it's interesting to play a Sex Pistol song when you've got it tuned down half a step, playing the similar sort of stuff, but it just gives it a different feel. And yeah, hope you enjoyed that. And there you have it, my friends. That's how you play Silly Things by the Sex Pistols off a rock and roll swindle. So a bit of a forgotten song, that one, but lots of fun to play and a bit different with that E-flat tuning. So hopefully you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. As I mentioned, I upload three guitar lessons per week. Feel free to give the video a like as well. That really helps out with the channel, pushes the video out to more people. Don't forget to check out the pop-ups that are jumping up around here. Check out the Nevermind the Bollocks playlist. That's going to get you playing all the rhythm, the leads, all that good stuff. Comment down below. Are there any other Sex Pistols songs that maybe I've missed that aren't on the channel? I'd love to do some more lessons. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Catch ya.